Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your love reading for the month of September 2024. As always, please only take the messages that resonate for you and leave what isn't yours for someone else to enjoy, okay? Right, um, that was super, super quick. I was literally about to ask what is coming in towards Capricorn and you got blash from the past that comes shooting out before before I even managed to ask. Someone or something or a situation from the past returns. So someone from the past or something from the past returns in your love energies this month, Capricorn. Uh, nostalgia, out of the blue, old or older. Okay, so obviously somebody that you already know, you know them quite well. Um, coming back into your life this month, emotional intimacy. Okay, healing, healing the relationship with self or with the inner child precedes successful relationships and love is energy and stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack and then ascending. Oh, okay. I think I see what's going on here, Capricorn. This is closure, okay? You're going to be offered some type of closure this month in love, okay? Um, it feels to me that this individual, dealing with them is very triggering, okay? It, now, here's the thing, right? I'm going to say someone, and it's completely up to you which side of the table this is coming from. Somebody was stabbed in the back. Somebody was betrayed. And it caused this um, lack of emotional and personal intimacy. It's indicating to me that somebody internalized another person betraying them somebody blamed themselves for the actions of another person and that obviously isn't healthy okay you can't or you shouldn't internalize the way that other people treat you because that basically gives your power away to others right so someone here is struggling with the fact that this particular person from their past um seems to be wanting to make a return. Now, the million dollar question is, oh, is that so that they can stab them in the back all over again? Or is that because they've actually changed with this ascending message? I feel that this is saying more to do with the fact that you have recovered to a certain point from that betrayal and you made damn well sure that you were going to ascend over whatever this is that's happened. Now, the fact that this person's getting in touch with you this month, that might be really, really triggering. Okay, so we need to clarify. Can you tell us more for Capricorn? What's this? What's this? I mean, we know it's a person. Who's this person from Capricorn's past? This coming back in in September, please. Who is this person from Capricorn's past? This coming back in in September, please. Thank you. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so they're coming in quick. It might be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It might be for some of you. Um, for others of you, that's just more to do with the sense of urgency behind the message, uh, the sense of how soon you're going to hear from them. Okay, it's going to be really, really quick, really soon. And there's a message there with the motorbike. I don't know if someone's got a motorbike or if this is just an individual who is quite loud. I don't know. Like, there, there's so many different ways that you can read all of these messages, okay? Either it's someone really loud, like you're going to hear them before you see them, which I don't know if that's going to sit well with you, Capricorn. You don't tend to... Um, 
enjoy the company of people who are like loud and obnoxious. <laughs> like it, it's not it's not your vibe it's not your thing um you know some some signs are okay with it um other signs are like yeah it just really shows that that person's keen um but you you, you you're uh, you're a lot more reserved than that um i think if if someone is going to make a big loud show i think that would just be more embarrassing than anything else but I feel, yeah, you've got a star, it's Aquarius, more air energy coming out. Um, I feel that the main point of this message here, Capricorn, is closure. Okay, um, th there's going to be an opportunity this month for you to get closure on this particular situation with this individual. Okay, the star is healing, it's nurturing. Um, I'm feeling out this as being something that... You, it, it's not exactly holding you back because you, you're ascending or you have already ascended like away from that kind of bullshit um, you've already done that work on yourself so I, I think it's just kind of like the cherry on the cake or the icing on the cake here for you you know because ultimately given yourself closure right you would need to in order to ascend and transcend this awfulness right so that that's why i'm reading this is just you getting that cherry on top of the cake type thing can you tell us more about blast from the past three of wands off center that's coming back around again three of wands in the upright position is moving on in the reverse that's restrictions and and stubbornness and you know things going wrong not being able to move forward off center that's someone who has tried to move on from you capricorn might be an aries that's an aries card doesn't have to be um they've tried to move on from you but have failed literally have failed three of ones off center that that's being stuck but it's being stuck i would say by choice it is a choice it is a choice and they have made the decision here ace of cups at the bottom of the deck um to try and demonstrate to you their ace of cups their love but the problem is though this this is someone who's been deceitful this is someone you know it you you've got to remember who it's coming from basically and i, I I don't think that you trust this person. I don't think you trust their intent. It's something to do with their timing. Seven of Wands, yeah. Challenges ahead. Facing the challenges ahead. Persevering. Uh, mounting some kind of defense here. What's this Seven of Wands? Capricorn. I mean, you could be incredibly defensive about this person because of that betrayal to a coins finding the balance it's like you're trying to or you will be trying to look at this objectively but still that there's a lot of suspicion a lot of suspicion surrounding this yeah two of cups and look how it's come out kind of off center I mean, it's not come out completely in the upright position, is it? And there is an undecisiveness here. So you might well be undecided by the time this comes through, Capricorn. You'd be like, do you know what? I want to trust them. I just don't. I just don't. That's how that reads. You want to, because as a preference... You prefer to believe the good in people, but when demonstrated otherwise, of which it has already been demonstrated to you, you know, because they took your trust and they tore it up into a thousand pieces. So that's what you've got to go by. That That's the evidence that you've got to work with. You know, like that. I, I want to trust them, but I just don't. It's seven of Wands. That's why you're going to be standoffish. So whoever this individual is, if they think for a single second 
the, they can just come swanning back and everything's going to be, you know, exactly how they left it and they can just pick up where they left things. They've got another thing coming. They really, really do. It's very uneasy energy here. And again, it's like you, you're going to be questioning at, or you should be questioning, you know, like why, why, why now? Uh, you know, what's this all about type thing? Um, what's this emotional intimacy? What's this emotional intimacy? The Capricorn. It's tired. Whatever this energy is, it's tired. Eight of Cups. Mm. Yeah, it was the hardest thing you ever had to do. Was walk away from this person. Cut your losses with this person. Yeah. It's. I tell you what this is. This is saying that they have zero idea how badly they hurt you or this this could be reading in the opposite direction as well you know you you could be the person from someone else's past that that's wanting to go towards someone and you might not have a single clue how badly you hurt that person okay only you're going to know what side of the table this is reading from but it's not going to be reading straightforward for everybody there's no way. Sometimes it can be flipped, okay? That's why I prefer to say someone. And I've got to read it from your thingy anyway, because it's your reading, okay? But it can still be flipped. Hmm. As I say, I can't escape this energy of how someone just really needs a bloody good sleep after having a bloody good cry, you know? That, that's how this energy feels. What's this Eight of Cups with emotional intimacy? Queen of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Yeah. It's like you had to detach. You had to learn to detach from them. It's under their Ten of Swords. Betrayal. An ending. A loss. Ruin. Yeah, I feel that this is someone who destroyed you, Capricorn, and they don't they they don't fully understand or appreciate exactly how much they hurt you. See what they're thinking at the moment is only about themselves. That that's why they're about to come towards you because they're only putting their own feelings first they're like no nah, I want to do this and they haven't thought for a single second how that might actually affect you because of what they did to you I'm hearing torment something that they did to you Capricorn it tormented you could be a Libra or a Virgo a Queen of Swords Nine of Coins or Gemini also with the Ten of Swords. Could be, but it doesn't have to be. I know some people like to hear the Zodiacs being shouted out. Was this stabbed in the back for Capricorn? Was this stabbed in the back for Capricorn? I don't know if they're completely selfish or just oblivious to the impact that they have on other people, Capricorn. Like, I genuinely don't know. Ace of Cups off center. Yeah. There's resentment. Ace of Cups off center is resentment. So there is still pain when it comes down to this exact individual there's still pain there there's still resentment there 
Now, I'm not going to tell anybody that they're right or wrong, okay? That's not my job. What I will say is consider how this resentment could be poisoning yourself, okay? You, you, you are entitled, you righteous anger. Yes, you are. That Ace of Cups is, it's holding a huge question mark over how you're going to handle your own emotions. Was this Ace of Cups? Capricorn, off centre. Make sure that you're not hurting yourself in the process, Capricorn. Page of Swords. I mean, are they currently watching you? Because it feels like it. You've got the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like they're going, you still mad, Capricorn? You, you, you still mad? I feel if... I don't want to say it, but I have to. It kind of feels a little bit like they're playing a the game here with you, Capricorn. That, that's how it comes across. Feels like they're playing games with you. Like, oh yeah, I, I did that awful thing to you, Capricorn. You still mad? Don't give them that kind of power, Capricorn. And tell us more. Yeah, a king of swords in the reversed position. It's very, man uh, excuse me, manipulative energy that that's like a settable manipulator king of swords reversed a settable manipulator definitely heavy on the air energy here very heavy air that's been consistent all the way through your read it's like their thing it's good enough for them to think that they've got you in your head thinking about them. Like, that alone is good enough for them. And I, I, I can't say that I'm liking this energy. I don't. Tell us more, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Be really, really observant around this person. Like, say for example, if this is somebody that you weren't able to completely disconnect from for whatever reason, then you're being told to be observant when you're around this person. You know, say for example, if you still have to work with them, or anything like that, okay. Um, it feels, because that, that King of Swords reversed is a really plotting, conniving energy. Okay. And it's right next to the slowest moving knight in the deck. Temperance at the bottom. Moderation. I'm hearing slow doses. Deal, deal with them only in small doses. Hmm. Tell us more about that Ace of Cups. Why is it? Thank you. The moon. Moon. more hidden energy that's also subconscious energy oh the wolf and the dog okay yeah i think i've got it now capricorn um the wolf and the dog in the moon so the wolf is symbolic uh, symbolic for obviously loyalty uh domestication uh friendship 
and your wolf is symbolic for the more sort of wilder aspects of ourselves see they're they're like our subconscious uh personalities basically you know how we've all got this sort of loyal faithful domesticated half and then we've got this sort of wild um adventurers cannot be tamed half when i was looking at that i heard it's in my nature so it's in this person's nature to to be the way that they are um so it's not so much of them planning it per se i mean they do to a certain extent but like they're not smart enough and they're nowhere near awake enough to really get a full grasp of how they make other people feel so part of it it's in their nature and then the other part is complete obliviousness tell us more six of coins given given they're given something three of cups are they i mean that that's showing me that they're giving to someone else or they were giving to someone else I hope this isn't another cheetah wants to come back storyline that's coming out. I mean, it could be. Was this ascending for Capricorn? Page of Cups and Strength for ascending. I very much suspect, Capricorn, that you're going to be receiving a brand new love offer this month. That could well explain the timing of the blast from the past. You see, if this person is watching you, which I very much suspect that they are, they're going to be seeing that you're giving your attention or someone else is giving you attention. This is having the strength and the courage to pursue something new and to not go back to this triggering past energy. Yeah, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's twice the Queen of Swords has come out. You're outsmarting someone here. Yeah, you've outsmarted them. Or you will be outsmarting them. Where's this page of cups coming in for Capricorn? Thank you. The six of swords, yeah. Yeah, that that's moving on. It's moving on. That that's coming out of the fog. Coming out of the emotional fog that this individual created for you. It's almost as if at one point you were telling yourself that you were never going to recover from what this individual done. What they put you through. And yet you are recovering. And the fact that they're getting in contact with you this month. And you, you're going to be observing your own response to that. Your own reaction to that. And that's going to prove to you. That actually, yeah, you're over it. You you are over it, Six of Swords. That then gives you the, the confidence and the strength to investigate this new love. I mean, the Queen of Swords doesn't take any kind of bullshit off of anybody. Yeah, you've got the Hierophant under there as well. That's, that's you staying strong to your own morals and your own ethics. And the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm certain that this past energy is trying to get you involved with a three-person situation here. Can you have advice for Capricorn, please? 
Any other advice for Capricorn? Page of Pentacles. Be willing to learn. Be open to learn. Seven of Cups. You're faced with a choice. In fact, you're faced with multiple choice. And the Three of Cups again. Okay. And the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands is a challenge. It's an obstacle. And I feel that that's your current energy right now. You're faced with a challenge. You're faced with some kind of uncertainty here as well. And Spirit's saying for you to be teachable. They're saying, I know it sounds patronising, but it's, it's a teachable moment. Seven of Wands, Page of Coins. Now, this... I'm getting two messages here. Number one, you know that this individual, Three of Cups has come out twice. You know that this individual has gone behind someone else's back in order to contact you. Okay, three person situation, it's come out twice. And that there's no need for you to muddy the waters of the progress that you've made on yourself and on your own growth. There's no need for you to muddy the waters of this beautiful new connection that we can see the buds of just shining through right here. Okay. The other, the other message that I'm getting here is that there's something really fake. Okay. I'm, I'm just looking at that golden skull there. And I'm not convinced that that's gold all the way through. It's probably gold plated, right? And the fact that it's a skull as well. Um, I mean, that could be a message about your own intellect. I mean, the skull means so many different things. Um, a lot of which I've, I personally don't want to get into because um, it can be quite sort of depressing you know it's, it's like a symbol of our own mortality and this that and the next I mean a love reading is not really the place for all of that but the point is there's there's a message here about how you're going to be within a committed situation with a like-minded individual here who is going to be respectful of you Okay, because the Three of Cups traditionally is a sharing of ideas. It's being on the same page as another person, right? In some contexts, it does come out as a three-person situation. And it definitely has come out in that context in your read. But for your advice is literally to consider, is this really worth your time? Is it, you, do you know what I mean? Because it, it feels risky, it feels fake. And then a message about how this is a teachable moment. What else can you tell us for Capricorn, please? Great fortune, yeah. Great fortune. So you're coming into a really incredible opportunity soon, Capricorn. In love, because remember, this is still a love read. Toil and labor, message and lovers. Yeah, you, you don't want that message from that person. It's like the least appealing thing that you can think of right now. And again, really ties in with that message I gave you about, oh my God, how tired I'm feeling reading this energy. Because dealing with that person is just so draining. Like their energy is draining. They're, they're impossible to deal with. Toil and labor. What's this great fortune that's coming in for Capricorn, please? It could be financial. 
or it could be great fortune in love you you've been fortunate you know you've had a fortunate escape from this individual yeah four of wands the hermit the king of cups it is in love and the page of cups yeah yeah so this great fortune is about love and how love is coming in with an individual who is emotionally mature who has a good handle on their own emotions here with someone who doesn't try to control others and then you've got stability and security I feel taking accountability as well with that hermit energy it's um you're going to be keeping your good news here in love a secret i feel so that you can avoid triggering this individual into messaging you that's how that's reading for me because it's like you've already figured out that if that person from the past finds out you're moving on, you know that that would encourage them to contact you. It would encourage them to freak out because it's reinforcing the message that you no longer care about them. So you're keeping your good news to yourself here. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups and a King of Cups. Exactly true love total love trusted love what else for capricorn please what else for capricorn infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life yeah yeah, you do not want old energies coming back in. Definitely not. So you've got to think about what it is that you're about to receive rather than what it is that you've quote unquote lost. Okay, because Spirit's telling you, you, you actually haven't lost anything here. Nothing that's of any real value anyway. Because what, what did you lose? Oh, you, you lost someone taking the piss out of you. Oh, you, you lost someone taking advantage of you. It's not really a loss, is it? You've got infinite abundance coming in. Great fortune and abundance. And stepping into power. You're strong beyond measure, yeah. You're strong because you had to be. In fact, this whole read, I feel, is a big fuck you to whoever that person was, Capricorn. You are. You're giving them the biggest fuck you ever. Right. Initials. You've got E. Z. H. J. And L. Okay. Okay. Right, let's pull you a card from the shitty deck. Bounce for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Oh. Hear no shit, speak no shit, and take no shit. One of the other Earth signs had that as well. Hear no shit, speak no shit, and take no shit. Mm -hmm. Definitely stepping into your power. Hmm, okay. That was, that's quite a lot to think about. Uh, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. If you feel that you're needing a private reading, then I am taking bookings. You can find the link for that in my description box below. There's also a link for this deck here, 
which is the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. There's a link on where you can purchase this deck as well. That's in my description box. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.